In one of his last political endeavors in 2020, Dr. Paul Kawanga Semogere sought to bring political players on the opposition side together with a view of forging unity and possibly forming a joint front for the elections. At the time of his death, this dream has not been realized. And I agree with those who say don't fight with Seven as a person. No, it's not a the problem. It's not a serious problem. The, the serious national problems are structural. There are institutions which have been wrongly put in place or which have been being misused. Semo Gerere retired from active politics, believing that the dialogue he had initiated would continue even after the 2021 general elections because he did not believe in violence as a means of gaining political power or because the electoral process was not good and the results disputed. Semo Gerere joined the Democratic Party in 1960 at the urging of the late Chief Justice Benedicto Chuanuka. He was appointed Publicity Secretary of the Party. Thereafter, he and Chiwanuka were inseparable, and after the 1961 general elections, the DP formed Uganda's interim administration, where Samogere was elected a member of the Uganda Legislative Council and later the National Assembly of Uganda as member of parliament for North Mengo constituency. He was also the parliamentary secretary of the chief minister, Benedicto Chiwanuka. The DP lost the 1962 general election and Semogere lost his parliamentary seat. In December 1969, President Apollo Milton Obote banned political parties and Semogere and Chiwanuka were detained under the Public Order and Security Act. He was released in 1971 by President Idi Amin. And when the latter continued the ban on political parties, Semogere fell back to his teaching vocation, becoming a science and English teacher at St. Maria Goretti Senior Secondary School in Katende. Earlier, in 1957, he had secured a one-year scholarship in leadership promotion at the Allegheny College in the United States. In 1973, when life became untenable for politicians, Semogere returned to Allegheny College as a visiting scholar in the Department of Political Science, where he studied African politics. Later, in recognition of his contribution to public life, Semogere was awarded an honorary PhD by Allegheny College. Semogere later received a master's degree in public administration from Syracuse University in the United States. However, when Idi Amin attacked Tanzania's Kagera region in 1978, he discontinued his PhD program and led a two-man DP delegation to the Moshi Conference in Tanzania in 1979. With the overthrow of Amin and a new election beckoning, Semogere returned to active politics as a member of the National Consultative Council. In 1980, he combed the countryside with his brother, John Kawanga, trying to revive the DP party structure. He was elected party president. But then we were looking for the old Democratic Party supporters. And we found them all over. We would go and meet them and then encourage them to organize themselves into branches. His commitment to democracy was proven in December 1980 when Uganda held its first multi-party parliamentary elections after 16 years. The Democratic Party is widely believed to have won that election. However, while other entities chose the path of war, Semogere and his contemporaries chose to join the Uganda People's Congress Party government as the leader of opposition and shadow minister for defense from 1981 to 1985. He was also the MP for Mpiji Southeast constituency. From 1985 to 1986, he was the minister for internal affairs in the Titokelo government. He was the leader of the Uganda government delegation to the Nairobi peace talks with the National Resistance Army, a rebel outfit at the time. When the National Resistance Army shot its way to power in January 1986, Samogere and the DP decided to work with the new government. He was appointed Minister of Internal Affairs in 1986, Foreign Affairs and Public Service. He was also second deputy prime minister from 1988 to 1995. 
However, in 1995, he resigned from the NRA government due to ideological incompatibility over whether Uganda should have a representative democracy based on organized political parties, which was the deepest position, or whether Uganda should have a monolithic political system or movement, which was President Museveni's position. Semogere stood for presidency in Uganda's first presidential election in 1996, which he lost. He retired from active politics in 2005. After his university education, Semogere taught physical sciences at Makere College School, Namiliango College, Uganda Government Farm Institute, St. Mary's College Yala, and St. Leo's College in Fort Porto. In 2020, he was awarded the Kabaka Peace Award. Semogere is survived by his wife, Jamina Namatovu Semogere, who he married in 1974, and four children. Gillian Nantume, NTV Weekend Edition.